Hey guys, all right, here it we are with part two of the fabric scrap embellishments, uh, part of our sort of halfway art little series that we've unintentionally created over here on my channel. Uh, I really love these sort of handmade embellishments that could be, of course, standalone little pieces of art, strips of art, or more importantly, in my working space, they are handmade embellishments I can use in other art. I love being able to not only be limited to um, store-bought things, but I love more importantly to have handmade things to look, to use in my art. Um, as Tracy Bautista would say, leveraging your own art. Um, here I'm making another strip out of just scraps, these little fabric samples, calico samples I got from my friend Jerry Bellini and I decided to make a homemade sort of mixed media strip of fabric embellishment with them. I really love them. I literally just unstapled, they were stapled together, I unstapled them, put them down with some other fabrics at random, and then put some more things on top of them. I really love the way that piece turns out, uh, and I've already used a piece of it in something. Um, it's really, really cute. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit more though of what you could do with this sort of thing and um, give you a close-up shot of, uh, you know, just really just adding the pieces. I'm not really thinking about it too much. I literally am adding things at random, making a giant mess on my studio floor. There's that beaded trim again. I broke some needles on. In fact, the needle breakage may even be in this footage here. We'll find out here in a minute. Um, because I do actually break a needle. And I'm using a denim uh, needle for this, which is normally what I do when I'm working with thick fabric. Now my machine um, is um, got, uh, it's a really good machine. It's made for working with thicker fabrics. So generally, unless you hit a bead or you have really super thick stuff, then um, it'll have an issue. But for most things in this case, it does very well. And, uh, but using the denim needle on any machine that you're using is smart. It's sharper, stronger. And we're, when you're combining this much uh, fabric and pieces and parts together, it really is smart to use the denim needle. And I usually use canvas and that's the kind of thing, a lot of burlap, so really thick, heavy duty fabrics, you really need that thick needle. So I just went and grabbed a piece of um, distressed cheesecloth and I'm just cutting the cheesecloth up and adding it also to my piece. And um, I just, I love the kind of raggedy way that that looks on the piece of fabric. So we are going to speed forward through this. I will be back at the end. I'm going to put some music here and you're going to see me create some different kind of embellishments with literally with bits and pieces, some of which you all have sent me in the round robin boxes that we did over in the My Year 2017 Facebook group, some that I got in Happy Mail, and some that my uh, dear friends uh, have sent me like Jerry Bellini, Cindy Utter, and that sort of thing. So I am going to do a little music. I'll be back at the end.
Okay, so here we are finishing up the last of the fabric embellishments for this part anyway of the series and I love this little round um, one the way it came out with the round handmade doily and that little piece of something it looks like it's from a belt I mentioned it it came I know that and a bunch of pieces like it came in a round robin box I don't know what they're from they look like they're part of a belt um, but I did find them interesting and kept them and I love the way it turned out here on this little embellishment. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do. Don't forget to check out the video description for links to all my Facebook groups, links to my Etsy shop if you want to support my channel, happy mail address and so much more. Check it out and the most important thing, uh, go out and have a great day. Make some uh, scrappy fabric embellishments and enjoy your art, have fun with it, express yourself, and don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.